five superhumans have impressed the scientists each with a phenomenal strength. That's really what makes a superhuman, you know, pushing yourself beyond what your known limits are and just seeing how far you can go. From Bangladesh, the powerful legs of martial artist Mac Yuri. When I think of Mark Yuri, I think that's a great example of the human physiology. The human tibia against a baseball bat should lose every time. We'll now assess superhuman case three in strength. A man with incredible leg power and one of the strongest kicks on the planet. Dr. Mac Yuri is an expert in 40 different martial arts. He trained at a military boarding school and is now a world record holder. You have to overcome the fear to really put your 100%. McYuri can shatter three baseball bats in one go with his superhuman shins. What's your specific training regimen? I trained for almost uh, 20 years. I train on tree trunks mm. and ropes rolled over. The scientists want to push Makuri's shins even further with a five-bat challenge. The requirements for this are four hockey sticks, one baseball bat, and a team to hold them in place. Don't try this yourself. With each kick, Makuri risks breaking his leg. The more kicks, the more likely that becomes. Because with each kick, Makuri sustains micro fractures to his tibia. He put his whole body into it. It was really about his whole technique. In addition to that, his pure fearlessness. I mean, most people wouldn't even attempt to do such a thing. Makuri's display was impressive. He can commit to pushing through something that might fracture his leg. That's the additional component that sets him over the top. That takes some considerable muscular strength to produce the force, but actually the strength of the bone itself, that tibia, the lower leg bone, to withstand that impact. Amazing. So can Mercury's strength be explained by looking at his bones? Let me show you an inside view of what's going on with the actual tibia bone, and that's the shin bone that people commonly refer to, okay? So white is density on a CT scan, and you can look right here. It's an incredibly dense area the bone is compared to tissue. What's really going on is with tiny fractures, you're sending signals to your body, I need stronger bone in this area, and it responds by laying down more bone. Much, much like a foundation on a house that wasn't stable, you would come down and put more cement, your body is automatically laying down more bone. Amazing, I think absolutely amazing. The stress that he's continually placing on it by kicking very hard objects has led to the lay down of more bone along that shin. And that's crucial because it's that that's protecting that bone from breaking when he kicks things like baseball bats. Mercury's bone density is one component, but the scientists want to see if his leg muscles also play a role. Most people don't kick with their maximum force. A lack of neural power means their brains do not trigger all available muscle cells in their legs. But could Mac Yuri be different? Now the question is, how much of his leg muscle is he actually activating? How much muscle fiber can he engage? To find out, Rahul will conduct a leg muscle usage test. The requirements for this are a dynamometer to measure muscle force, a magnetic stimulator, which tells the brain to engage all muscles, and an average person to act as a control. Dr. Emma Ross will operate the equipment to send a pulse to his brain, which will make his leg muscles react. We're going to use the magnetic stimulator. We're going to place that over your head. And whilst you're doing a big contraction, we're going to see how much of your muscle fibers you're activating. And three, two, one, pull. Hard as you can. Go, 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 go. And relax. Nicely done. Great job. Well done. So this is terrific as well. 96% of his quadricep muscle fibers fired at that time. So that's higher than you one would expect, right? Yeah, without any shadow of a doubt. You know, we all have a much more capacity than we're really using. Yeah. And then with training over time, we can increase our muscles activity and our capacity. So how does the control compare? He had 96% of his muscle fibers yeah. fire. Let's see, give it your best and let's see how many you can get to engage. 
In three, two, one, go. Pull, 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 and relax. So that was 89%, a clear 7% lower than Yuri could do. That's a big difference when you're talking about 7% of the muscle isn't being recruited in comparison. What we saw with Mac Yuri is that he can actually recruit virtually all of his muscle. Strength or power production is about not only the size of the muscle itself, bigger muscles, more power. It's actually about the amount of muscle that we can recruit consciously with our brain. Mac Yuri's massive leg power is incredible.